Right, this is my Mark burglar alarm fitted on my summer house. So there's the keypads. The wiring goes all the way up. Um, I've got a siren, as you all know. Door contact and one password infrared. So um, the password is one one two two. That's default. So I'll go ahead and set it. Then I interrupt the door contact. So I'll show you from outside the meter. Close the door. So you can hear it just beeping. I'm not beeping. Right, so there we are. That's set. I go in. Fast beeps. Enter double one or double two. But while you're doing it, it doesn't actually beep. So, um, there we are. This is the siren up there. Um, I'll set that off for you. By, um, you've got to make sure this is closed first. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. Lights. We're going to do it the old fashioned way. So we leave it. So it's set now. Um, I'm going to take you, in, to take you in, show you how loud that is, because it's very loud. So go ahead and open it. So if I take you in. Not going to let it go for long. So that's inside. So there we are. Sorry for all the moving about. I had to take my tripod and move it. So that's it going off. It sounds a bit like a Euro set clock goes off setting so you don't have to reset these I don't think oh zone one's open so the doors just flew open close it too there we are um so so that's setting so um there we are don't know why it's sound system armed because it isn't armed there we are. So that was a door charm again. So um, I'll show you the back control panel. Bring the tripod forward. So it can go into Tampa. The external sign is not sounding. That's all it sounds like when it's going off. Anti Tampa Spring Siren and all the connections. I'll pop that back on now. Probably go off again, but so there we are. Power on, so and I've got no backup battery. In. Um, just didn't think we need one yet, so I will get one at some point. So, um, there we are. Here are the instructions I accidentally sat on these, so that's why they are, they're all scrunched up, but can just about still read from them so these are all the tests I'll do a video of all the tests um, of everything um, password codes arm system this arm system chime zone so um, there we are um, I'll show you the wiring now so it goes all the way up round down and then there's a siren cable just um just there then sense cable and the door contact cable that cradle there is for my guard man shed alarm so um there we are oh. I'll um I'll I'll say it again I will do a video of the tests 
I'll probably be doing a video of putting the backup battery in and that. So, yeah, um, I'll show you in the siren at some point. I'm not sure when this was just a, a video showing you it. So, um, there we are. Um, if anyone would like my um, yellow alarm box, I'll just get it to show you. It's in very good con condition. Obviously, um, I will um, sort of refurb it like... I'll show you it now, just taking this tape off. Yeah. Um, so, this is it, just here. I will obviously, I'll wipe it over. This is the back, I'll, and I'll also wipe that over. Um, this is it inside. I will take that glue off. So, um, there we are. It doesn't have a screw, so... You'll just have to find a screw, but if anyone's interested of it, then um, I'll send it you or something. I'm I'm not sure. So um, there we are. So that's a yellow alarm box. These are also also good because the batteries. Well, this is a dummy I got with mine. You can put a little piezo in there. So when I had my shed alarm. I put the external siren, like a little horn, in there and it actually fitted in there so it had its own casing, which was very good. I, I reckon, well, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer to do that if I'm doing it because one, it makes it look more professional and stylish and obvious that you've got an alarm and two, um, you know, it just protects it a bit more. So if anyone's interested in that please tell me in the comments below um and that that's about it so like comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video goodbye